Hey, Fragrance family, I'm Daver. And I'm Ben. And we're the Fragrance, Fragrance Bros. Bros. Coming at you again with special guest, Ben. Thank you again for coming on, Ben. No problem, anytime. And today we are reviewing Prada Loam by Prada. All right, so let's get straight to it. Date introduced is 2016. It's classified as a woody sheepra. Notes are amber, iris, geranium, pepper, neroli, and patchouli. All right, so what do you get out of longevity out of this? Actually, I get really good. Really? Yes. Like, I, I could put it on, I get a solid four to six hours I can smell it but then after that I think it goes away or becomes a skin scent yeah but then other people tell me hey you smell good you know I'd probably say it like eight hours of longevity out of the scent okay yeah yeah I, I totally agree with you on me it's I would say it's in the average range um, I definitely get four to six hours that's really noticeable yeah and then after that it's like a skin scent mm -hmm. but then it continues that for like another three hours yeah what about projection? Uh, probably, you know, a few feet for the first, like, uh, probably, you know, like I said, about four to five hours or whatever. Then it comes a little bit closer. But even when it comes close to close to the skin, if you're if you're standing next to me, you can definitely smell it. But if you're a little bit away, you, you won't be able to. And then, like, that probably for me is about another two or three hours. And then probably another hour, it's real close to the skin. Like, you know, if my wife hugs me, she can smell it. But no, other than that, she can't. Yeah, on me, I would say it's in the average range. Um, for this type of scent, I think that's really good. I do too. Season, I think this is Vivaldi, all four seasons. And I think this works great day or night. For occasion, I think this is good for casual and work. All right, so what does this remind you of? It just, it smells a little elegant to me. Okay. You know, so it just reminds me of going, like going to a nice event somewhere, you know, like maybe going to the opera or something like that, yeah. you know, or a charity ball or something like that. It's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Prada is kind of known for their clean scents, especially with their mm -hmm. male masculine scents. I think, you know, for the most part, I think they're accepted. And um, this one though, I think is actually really good. It still retains kind of like the clean smell. But I totally get what you're saying. It is more on the refined edge. Yeah. And I think that's because of, the, of a comparison that we, we hear before. Yeah. It has an iris note in there, which does kind of lean on Dior Homme a little bit. Yeah. But it doesn't smell like Dior Homme. No, not at all. No. <laughs> I mean, it's got that vibe because of the iris, but then that's it. Yeah. Nothing else. It's like certain fragrances like Dior Homme or uh, Aventus. Once you have like a note in there that they're known for, yes. everyone that smells that note and something else compares it to that. And it's so freaking annoying. Yeah. You know, it's like if it has Iris, it's not a Dior um, clone. Yeah. You know, or if it has something smoky or pineapple in it, it's not an Aventus clone. Right. Yeah. And that's so, it just drives me nuts sometimes. It, yeah. It drives me nuts too. I will say that the Iris is very similar to Dior Ohm yes. in this case, which I don't mind. I think that works really well here. But it's it's clean, yeah, and it's fresh. To me, what I get is more of a comparison to like, particularly mm. the Lamal flankers. But really, it's as if this were like in an alternate universe, yeah. and the Lamal flankers were good. Oh, well, this would be it. It's, you know? an, it's an alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it just it just reminds me somewhat of that type of thing, but it's done really really well. Um, at the start, obviously, Iris, I get that, and kind of like a, a soapier type of, well, almost soapy type of vibe. Definitely clean. As it dries, I get almost like a cedary type quality. Mm -hmm. And on Fragrantica, the notes that I listed are what is described in text, yeah. but then they have cedar in the pictures. So <laughs> I don't know if cedar is necessarily listed, but I definitely get like, like a sweet woody smell in there too, which is yeah. really nice. I get that iris note. It's it for the first like 10, 15 minutes. It's that pungent iris, kind of like with Dior Own. So I can see where people can, at first to go, oh, it's just Dior Own, but it's not. But I get like a soapiness about it, and with with a, like a with that neroli on the top. So as it dries down, I get more of that black pepper and some ger and the uh, geranium comes in. Yeah. And, which I really like. Yeah. You know, it kind of gives it a little bit more backbone. Yeah. So with the when it dries down, I get a, a lot of iris, uh, cedar, and a lot of amber, and yeah. a little bit of the geranium. Yeah. And it's really nice. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. It surprisingly, it, like it surprised me mm -hmm. because it has a, a, an actual fair amount of depth and complexity to it. Yeah. That you don't normally get from number one, a designer, and number two, a clean set. Yeah. 
a lot of a lot of scents like that are kind of just they just play it really really safe. Yeah. And so to be a designer clean scent is it this kind of it kind of blew my mind a little bit. A lot of these designers kind of describe themselves in kind of like these luxurious things. So Prada, whenever mm -hmm. you think Prada, you think of like really nice shoes or bags. Right. And it's it's I, their name is almost synonymous with luxury. Mm -hmm. And a lot of these companies, like these designer companies, are trying to go for that. But a lot of their fragrances don't portray that at all. Right. Yeah. And so, but in this case, I think it really does. I do too. I think it really shows uh, a really good amount of quality and uh, effort and artistry into making a scent that is really likable. People say, oh, it's just, you know, they said it's a Dior Homme clone, but to me, this is much more wearable than Dior Homme than for mm -hmm. me. Because to me, Dior Homme, it leans a little f feminine for me. Okay. And I, I'm kind of not really comfortable wearing it, honestly. Because um, for one, it's got that strong lipstick vibe for me. Yeah. And it, I don't know, it's just a little little feminine. But this one, if you if you like Dior Homme, but it's a little feminine for you too, this is like a masculine version of that, more masculine version. And I think it's because of that black pepper and the cedar note, give it a more masculine quality to it. But I like it a lot. Uh, what about compliments? I got a lot of compliments. Really? Yeah. Pretty much everywhere I went, somebody said something about it. Wow. Yeah. My wife loves this one, which is a great thing. Nice. You know, so even my seven year old said, oh, I like that daddy. So nice. Yeah. So everybody is, this is a crowd pleaser for sure. That's cool. Um, I ran it by my wife and my wife likes it. Um, she is generally really accepting of clean smelling scents mm -hmm. and lighter smelling scents. I wouldn't necessarily say this is light, which I'm glad, but it's not loud. Right, yeah. So uh, she likes it for that reason. All right, so bang for buck, this is around $100 for 100 mil, and that's generally the standard rate for brand new uh, designer set. Yeah. I think that's fair. I always think that's fair. I, you know, definitely a year, maybe two years down the road, I think this will be discounted on uh, aftermarket sites, and it'll be an even better value. But even now, I think this is a type of scent where hundred dollars I mean that's good uh, for yeah. this type of scent. I paid it so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right so final rating what do you give this? Five out of five. Wow. Yeah this could be a signature scent because yeah. it could be used anytime, yeah. any place, any season. It's like a Swiss army knife basically. Nobody has said around me that they didn't like it and yeah. when I, somebody said something they really liked it. Yeah. So I, five out of five perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I really like it. I didn't fall in love with it, but I definitely really like it. And mm -hmm. I, I kind of do actually want to get some later down the road. Yeah. But I uh, really, really like it. Really respect it. Like I said, I think it's just a really exquisite version of a, of a clean scent. And like you said, you can wear this really anytime. Oh yeah. So that's all we have for Prada Loam. Let us know if you tried it down in the comments down below. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Of course, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe down below. We'll love you for it. We'll see you next time. We're the Fragrance Brothers. Bye.